I think uh, the first I need a little introduce myself. Please. And uh, I'm the martial artist. So I'm the artist. So the people practice Tai Chi or Xing Yi or any kind of karate, the martial art. It could be for health reason or could have for some people was interested in Chinese culture and for philosophy and uh, many different reasons. But for my reason, is art. So the I think in martial art is the sci- scientific and uh, as weak defeat strong and uh, he can use for military, you know, strategy also he can use for the business, can use for Beijing opera, for the music, for singing or for anything. Actually they are relationships is, too. Uh, relationship too and uh, of course your life too so because uh, he is working on the art the art is not very simple things so it's a, it's actually the the world have uh, three things material you have a solid material and liquid material and gas material like air material like a gas kind of type of material so and also your body have physical material which muscle bone you know, this kind of material, and also you have the the internal energy, which is uh, the jing material, and like a liquid material, and also you have spiritual material, as gas, you know, as the air kind of types, space, power. So, so there's three different material, and, and uh, the for beginning level, it always start from the physical material from from the like your life you always start uh, to build uh, the the house the car the, the you know money that this kind of things so it's low level it is working on the the material and uh, the more medium level he working on the the business he have in investment you know you know different things so this kind of things now start to play the money play the investment and he into the level two which is liquid and he moves the money moves and in out so and then he go to the spiritual level which is donating the money uh, he is tired of money the money is too much for him is nothing just zero so like bill gates is just uh, add on one more zero <laughs> it's in the computer <laughs> so it's a <laughs> lifetime you cannot uh, spend so so later they feel it, it's not too much meaning for them. So they uh, just needed to to return to the society to make, uh, you know, the money have a function and value. So this time they have become more spiritual, more mentally to to think about the function and the value of the, you know, how to make money more better for the society, more better for the poor people, more better for the, for the world. So this kind of thing is a spiritual level. So, you know, the, the, the martial arts is the same thing. So it's, a, it's three levels. Yeah. Can, can I ask you, um, some people, it seems like some people, they live only on the low level. It's all physical. And then other people, a lot of people you've met through me. Yeah, yeah. I remember when I had a center in San Francisco, yeah, yeah. you came in and you're like, what are you all closing your eyes for? You know, <laughs> this is martial arts. And, you know, a lot too much meditation, too much spiritual. Yeah. You have to have a balance between all three of them, right? That's right. Because uh, I'm, you know, practicing martial arts since 1966. i been through the whole stage and meet many, many different masters. And I also like different art, which are paintings, uh, Beijing opera, I listen a lot. Uh, and, you know, so what I want to find and uh, the art, they have similarity. And uh, it's, it's even medicine, all kind of things, they have a similarity. And so low level is, is a lot, okay? 80% of people is low level, okay, in the world. Whenever, you know, the things, they work on real life, work on family, work with kids, nothing wrong, okay? And they are happy. Mm-hmm. And low level, okay, they're happy. And they work on physical, they feel strong, they feel muscle, they feel tough, okay? Okay, they feel some health, but this is not... Uh, high level <clears throat> and, and uh, some people more high level he feel the different he feel the energy 
Uh, he is not feel muscle strong. He feel energy. He understand the body, all the part of the body. So he more relax. <coughs> he more enjoy his uh, practice. So that's what I said. Low level have pain. Yeah. Uh, medium level have a little you know, fun. The highest level it, it's uh, his uh, melt. So actually in spiritual level it is it just kind of like uh, is totally enjoy and relax and, and melt. It's uh, nothing actual effort in the nothing waste because he's just uh, you know work on the right things. Do, do you think there's a difference? Uh, well, first of all, what could you say is the difference between how people, say in America versus people in China, uh, <coughs> live high level, low level? You know how mm-hmm. how they go about that. I think uh, from martial art part, I feel the American people most is work on physical. Okay, work on the energy. Mm-hmm. And you, you look at the ultimate fight, and when they do the fight, and they are very physical, strong, and very fit, like an animal. They are, they're looking for is animal's ability, animal's strength. Uh, so they look like a leper and a python around you and, and grab you and underground. So they, they are spiritual, they are spiritual, and they are physical, very strong, and endurance pretty good. They can last for three minutes, and body have great <laughs> conditioning, and you can hit them pretty hard. So, but that is not Chinese way. Uh, this is more, I feel, if you say this is Western, of course, Chinese also, some Chinese work on this way too. So it's um, not a real Chinese or the Western, but this in the West is more on this side, which is strong, powerful, and reality. And Chinese work on more empty, more spiritual, more scientific. In theory, is empty is scientific. It's not working on strength. So actually, the martial art highest level is complex intelligence, scientific, the right force defeat the the physical effort the force is is that true like culturally philosophically in every way <coughs> comparing these two countries because uh, i i'm two reasons why i ask one i'm fascinated yeah. Having now finally gone to yeah. China, but also my the audience for this is yeah. going to be a bunch of Westerners, yeah. and I think that there's a lot of trouble we have understanding even what you're talking about yeah. because of the way we see it. And you've lived like going back and forth between yeah. these two cultures. Yeah. So, what's the difference culturally? Culturally, difference is just a historically different. Chinese have five thousand history and two thousand very you know high level you know kind of culture, the, even at the 2,000 years ago, they have a very beautiful bronze and jade carving and, and you know, calligraphy already created. Mm. So it's a, a long time mm. culture and they are a, a little by little develop and have many war during the spring warrior period, which is a whole country's war crazy time. And uh, you know, they have a lot of warrior and they created a sense which is a war of the strategy book and writing by, you know, Sun Tzu. And uh, that time already have a lot of intelligence people through the war and to find it how be scientifically, intelligently to defeat the tough army. Uh, so that's why in the the Three Kingdom time, which is uh, the, the, you know, the Chinese called uh, the Sango, and uh, that time, and the Red Cliff, the movie, is... Uh, they, they have a movie called Red Cliff. And mm. this movie is described uh, 1,300 years ago, which Chinese how use a little army and with fire to burning the 83 million like, uh, horsemen from northern invasion. So kind of like uh, that time they already started to understanding it's not only the physical strong is the result. It's a, best is more intelligent and scientific. So, uh, do you think that that people here will understand what you what you're what talking? Like, do like I guess mm-hmm. how? What's the biggest trouble that we have as Westerners 
kind of trying to understand the philosophy and the and and even the practice of tai chi and martial arts so the the thing i think is very important do you do anything you sing the music okay you 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 you, you like music i know yeah. but the key is the result okay i i don't care what you sing you can catch the people's heart you can make me cry and you can make me laughing or you can make me enjoy that this music to attack my heart you success you get a result otherwise sounds good <laughs> uh, i feel nothing go home forget it this just, the guy just have great voice you know what i mean yeah. uh, his voice is great his technique is great yeah but i don't feel too much uh, so the key is the result now how to get the best result you really have to understanding the singing uh, and also don't create it a lot of people working too hard they created i call the the job related sickness the senior senior if you use the wrong muscle and use too much effort to try to you know mm-hmm. create energy to attract people and you could be damaged your voice too okay mm-hmm. why you don't understand your muscle of the the voice muscle and your neck muscle or your your trunk muscle you don't understand your your your, your body internal muscle so your energy so you're just uh, you know tough and uh, to to try to make it and this one yeah maybe look like uh, it's uh, strong to get a bigger volume of energy of the voice but it could be damage your voice and the long term you could be cannot sing anymore you have some kind of sickness on your, mm-hmm. your throat too and the martial art too many karate master i meet uh, and they are tough and they're working very hard i'm very respect them and, and uh, you know a good friend with me too but they have back pain and uh, they have a shorter pain and uh, you know one time i meet one new york uh, very famous uh, karate masters <coughs> his whole joint was kakakaka you know noisy <laughs> it's like no oil <laughs> no oil in the car you know yeah. kind of because i think he walk he's tell me he walking too hard yeah. so he damaged the whole ligament you know what i cartilage. feel like what you're hitting on which is kind of the beautiful part about martial artists as an art form is the blending of all the different levels that you talked about at the beginning like yeah. the lowest level the medium level and That's the highest right. level like there's real results yeah when you can be a master in each of the levels That's right uh, and uh, you know each level have a different uh, the masters and also even the low level muscle level for them okay and you can be like a wild pig you, you know like a, you know some some people can be still you can lift uh, you know 300 pounds a uh, weight lifter mm-hmm. uh, you know sumo rise he, he can be very big and strong and, and tough you, he's fat maybe three inch in fat stick you punch nothing <laughs> you know, <laughs> so kind of you know the, they still can be like <laughs> undefeatable for me or, or kind of like what's but they are t- only this kind of people because he's a good, he's a tall two meter tall you know he's a heavy 300 pound kind of this kind of people is suitable for that kind of tough style uh, and uh, you know but uh, but you know just like an elephant you know uh, or some lion even cannot attack you so it's okay but uh, but it's only elephant or, or rhinoceros horn you know right. but uh, not uh, good for small dog doing this kind of style yeah. you know what I'm Well this this yeah. is important because um do you feel that people need to be you've used the word yeah. natural mm-hmm. but natural to what they are like yeah. I've always being with you all these years mm-hmm. I'm not a predator could yeah. I be a predator if I want to be or do I have to know what I am like I'm a wild pig I'm a sumo wrestler <laughs> I'm a monk yeah. I'm a, you yeah. know what I'm meant to be like do you think that everybody could get to the highest level Do you, do you understand what I'm I asking? I understand it, yeah. Everybody can reach to the highest level. The highest level in the martial art is predator. A small predator can attack the bigger animal. You know, this is intelligence scientific great. Like a lion can attack to an elephant. So if this is a, is a, the good predator. Uh, martial art is art of the predator. So in theory it, it's a, it's martial you know so it's weak defeat strong intelligence defeat strong uh, so use less effort for me i like the high level 
is because the high level you can enjoy your life. You only every day practice 30 minutes, enough. Uh, and you can, 300 pound people, you feel nothing, piece of cake. So these kind of things, it's you, you have confidence and you, you in life, you see the criminal, I'm happy, you know. So you have confidence because, you know, when the criminal comes, you can real hit them hard. <laughs> but did you not also do your work and spend all those hours before and work on the low level, maybe in 1966? I mean, yes. <laughs> yeah. Everybody start at low level. Everybody yeah. has to be start at low level. Yeah. But very important in your life is every day renew your knowledge, just like you go to school. You don't read the same book, study same teacher, uh, same class, same chair, sit there for 20, 40 years. And you have to every day study new book, new, you know, new cap chapter, and a new teacher, and renew your knowledge. So continuously refine. Even like an today, artist, you want to stay creative. You don't want to be bored. or Not only creative, you have to study. You have to study. You have to study mm. and thinking and created mm. uh. well and isn't it interesting like i feel i don't know i've not been to china or mm. really even traveled mm. all that much mm. but i know in this country everybody does get stuck in the rat race where there isn't any progression they're just getting up they're going to work and they're feeding their kids and going to mm. bed like there's not any of that yeah. and so it kind of gets stuck in this just hamster wheel yeah, yeah. and that is very normal it, it's because the God is fair, all you deserved, okay? So if you give yourself high goal, high, you know, standard, I want this, I want more high level, okay, now you need to do something else. But if you, you set up, okay, I'm satisfied for the housewife, I'm satisfied <laughs> for the family, and, and I'm satisfied to cook for my kids, okay, this good this is not bad okay right but if you if you satisfy the key is are you satisfy this if you are satisfy what you do and what's your life and even you never change anything uh, it's okay it's okay for you okay because you deserved it. but it's not okay for me <laughs> because i don't want to you know what i mean doing the same thing I'm i'm very easy to boring okay that's why in the <laughs> high, high level Artist, not everyone is artist. Not everyone is high level Bill Gates, okay? Yeah, so Bill Gates, okay. But the not Bill Gates, I'm happy too. So I think in the life, you have to be first judge yourself. Do, do I have intelligence? Does I have this kind of, you know, the heart to try to willing to work hard, uh, you know, to create it, to change myself? to get to high level. Or I'm just satisfied, I'm lazy, easy, I want to, you know, even you sleep in the Golden Gate Park and, and homeless, okay, I, I think he, he deserved it. So he, he lazy, he, he satisfied too. He may be he not to feel pain. <laughs> you know, if you, I'm, I'm more in free time than anybody else. <laughs> so it's okay, you get something, you lose something. So that is always, uh, is you don't think, okay, Bill Gates get a lot of money. They lose a lot of things too, okay? He maybe mm. lose the health. He maybe lose the, you know, the, 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 some kind of leisure time. And he cannot do what uh, normal people can do. He cannot go to movie theater by himself, you know, kind of. He it, was interviewed a two weeks ago and they asked him what his biggest regret was. He yeah. said he wished he had learned Chinese. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so you still have something to to work on. Yeah, and so it's never end. It's uh, for me. Is I I start writing my book ten years ago, which I, I when I was young I write a book very fast. One week I can write one book. Okay, <laughs> I write two book about just you know three three weeks or something yeah. very quick. Okay, but nowadays I ten years ago I start to write. And nowadays, even I every day write something, but I still feel I cannot write this book. <laughs> 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 because it's every day I renew. I find, uh, yeah, I have even the title, okay, the book title, I continue change <laughs> changes. <laughs> so because uh, it's the scientific, you know, kind of things, it's uh, it continuous. You can add on three dimension and nine dimension, you know, it's like... Uh, it's no end 
because art is no end, universe is no end. So, so it's kind of you get Earth's power. Because uh, if you say one truth, yeah. there's a million other truths you didn't say. So you come up with one title. There's so many ways that you could yeah. find some essential thing must be different. And also, I try to more concentrate. The, 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 before it's like I have thousands of quality, okay, thousands of people have you know hundreds of mistakes. I focus on this, how to fix these mistakes. But now I I find it's going to less and less. But even the less, for example, just Earth power. Earth power is the most important force, uh, which human no root. For me, the martial art, the root is very important. With your life, the root is very important. Uh, the root make you comfortable, make you confidence, and make you stable. And human no root. Even I nail you, use two nail on your feet, and you still fall down. Okay, I still can push you down. So, <laughs> so no root. Okay, it doesn't matter. Three hundred pound, six hundred pound, no root. Okay, and, and he will fall down. So human, if you are human, no root. Only. Only your root is when you have Earth's reaction force. Like you give ground force. Ground give you force back. And this back force can against income unbalance your force. So because you meet some force, push you or hit you, they want to unbalance you. They attack you. So this force will be make you unbalanced. If you have force can balance this, unbalance your force, you are have root. You are stable. Otherwise it doesn't matter. You you just loot yourself. You just sink. You just uh, going down. It's not loot. It, it's just uh, heavier make you, but uh, it's still no loot. So there's a difference between if there's no react. If there's if the if the energy doesn't move, you can just have gravity and standing there and have weight on the ground. But that's different than being able to bring force back up and then deliver it. Yeah. Outside. So that's why loot have eight quality. This loot. It's like earth power, which I call earth power, come from feet, and like animal feet, you can jump. Okay, this force they have rising force from ground, and this force first have to be pure, which is you cannot whole body through the this force through your whole body to your hand, and this force it becomes structural force. Once it's through your body, it becomes structural force. So mm. if he can through the space, and that is pure, just from feet. To attack you, uh, not through the arm to attack you. That's called a pure. So Earth's power has purity first. Second one is intelligence. He can shoot any. This force can shoot you anywhere, any directions. Plus with soccer motion. Uh, so this Earth force not just uh, linear, but also can be round from side attack you. So this uh, second and third one is uh, he is uh, outside. This force is working on outside his body, which working on the enemy, not on yourself. So your root power, the earth power, the feet power, uh, you not just stabilize yourself. You try to to work on enemy, and that have value. Without this force traveling to attack the enemy, this force on yourself, root yourself, nothing, no value. You no root, and because you still not balance my force. Then the fourth one is how wider this Earth's force can spread, wider, affect people in the left or right, and how tall uh, he can even connect to the heaven. So how tall this Earth's force you can rise in to, fr to uproot the enemy's feet, and that's your level two. And then how strong, how fast, and the most difficult for me I today I find is how can you continuously Every inch you move, every point you move, your body moving, the earth power, uprising force, forward force, still exist and attack your enemy and never stop attacked. So this is very difficult. That's just the earth power, one part of a martial art. Is, this, um, is there a difference for you between the way you live your life and the way you practice martial arts? Is what you're talking about something you could be practicing at any moment while you're driving the car, while you're sitting here right now? No. Or for me, I think in the best is America have one very in, in, uh, important sentence. Called, uh, when you play, you play. When you walk, you walk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so, so that means when you practice martial arts, you're serious. 
mm-hmm. your artist. When you're with your grandson, with, uh, you know, your wife, better just uh, family husband. So not <laughs> much art. So don't mix together like uh, all the time. Even the tiger, he don't, okay, mean <laughs> and hunt all the time. He yeah. lay down tree, stomach on the heaven, you know, <laughs> you know he, he relax too. You know what I'm yeah. he, he's that period. He's not a predator, okay? Uh, he's a family cat or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's sweet <laughs> with his kids. So he's not, don't need it. But Martial. he can change yeah, yeah, instantly he, uh, if all yes. of a sudden uh, I can prey change. comes. I can change. So when I walk, uh, yeah, I can relax. And suddenly people touch me, I change it. I mm-hmm. totally change. Right. Your force, right we go to ground, my earth force return back, attack you immediately. So yeah. this is instant. There was a moment in the elevator in China when yeah. this criminal guy yeah. was going into the nightclub and he was smoking <laughs> in the elevator and George told him to put it out. I mean, we were just standing in the elevator, but all of a sudden, George's energy changed. He was very still, but I could feel his energy go back behind him to the guy. He wasn't directly talking to him, but your predator was like, ding, I'm paying attention. <laughs> like, it's instantaneous for you. Yeah, in any it's, a, moment. it's a very important. Uh, you have to be instant, the, the change. Can I ask you what... what uh, if you think back, I mean, this many, many years of yeah. practice probably have found so many mistakes for yeah. yourself. But is there a point at which you realized you went from feeling like you were on the wrong track to you were on the right track? Like, is there a, ch- a point for you where you feel like everything you're practicing is correct? It's just a question of being better? Or has it just uh, always been just a kind of step by step for you? Yeah, for me, is I always feel... The period, like a, in a, you know, some beginning period, I always feel like no way to go. So I'm feel shit. I'm I I'm pretty strong. I I very fast uh, and I'm tough. So it's so you like, thought you're the best. Uh, uh, not best, but I feel for my physical, I cannot more fast or I cannot more more powerful. Yeah. So I feel it's like a, I cannot. I don't know where to go, and that kind of situation. Yeah. Then suddenly, it's some master come, he break my breakthrough, mm-hmm. and then, oh, I find out, oh, these are another directions, and this highway, the like mountain, another load, okay. But uh, when certain point, and I find no place to go again, it's like uh, always find like a uh, okay end, like an art is end, okay, <laughs> and no, no, no more. <laughs> but I, if I keep search, if I keep and thinking, and uh, finally I find uh, again, like uh, I'm very open teacher. When I go to Italian, teach everything. Okay, okay. Root eight quality today. Okay, I for I say root eight quality internal. Okay, uh, fourteen levels. Okay, like uh, I tell them everything. So, but I think that's it. I, I cannot talk about what is nine root of the nine quality. You understand? Know like uh, eight quality root purity. Uh, earth power, purity, and earth power, like, uh, you know, the intelligence, earth power, working on the outside, you know, working on the enemy, and powerful, strong, wide, tall, you know, fast and continuity. Uh, I think that's it. It's uh, I couldn't think of anything else. But, <laughs> <laughs> but God is very interesting. He will be let you find something else. And uh, if you tell people everything, because mm. your cup is empty again, mm. so and then something comes. So I find it very interesting. If I keep holding this eight, then this eight forever, okay? But I let this eight all throw away like a garbage, okay? <laughs> then right. the new one comes. Yeah. So then this eight maybe nothing was nothing, and something even more high level. So it's uh, that's why it's very important being the teacher. Being artist, don't hold on yourself, uh, and mm. don't keep secret, because you keep secret, and that's it. You stay this secret. When you think the secret is is garbage, okay. Why then, do so many you, uh, yeah. martial uh, Asian martial arts teachers yeah. Yeah. keep secrets? Why is that? And uh, because I think they lazy. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, when you keep a secret, you can beat student. 20 years by one hand and don't need it. That's what I meet many master. 
They said, I can beat my student. 20 years, let's practice, and I can beat them by one hand and effortlessly. Uh -huh. uh, yes, why? Because you never tell them the secret. <laughs> 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 then you just keep it a secret. So you can keep it, beat them easily, and you don't need to work very hard. Okay, so and that is not uh, right. I teach them all the secret. I want they beat me up. Okay, they better than me. Now I need to, they push me, so I need a better. You've always said that you, I asked you a couple of years ago why you still teach, and you said still need to hunt, or you also said like if you saw a car crashing in the ditch as you're driving by, you're like, oh, I could learn, oh, you yeah. learn from me. But have, there, have you worked with any, t two questions. Question number one is, have you ever worked with a high-level person that you learned from in the West? And secondly, what are you working on right now? Yeah, I learned from all kind of people, Western people, Chinese people, low-level people. I learned from you, too. Okay. What did you learn from me? <laughs> I learned from you is you, your mistake is tell me I don't do the same mistake of you. Right. Okay. The student make a mistake. If I can find your mistake, so your mistake is tell me I have to do opposite of this mistake. But I, what I was asking about yeah. when you talked about the car driving in the yeah. ditch was differentiating between the fact that you'll learn from anybody if you can, yeah. and that's something I've witnessed right. ever since. I, you yeah. know, anybody can beat you; they're your Don't, teacher. Yeah. But well, actual teachers, actual masters. Have you uh, learned from people in the West? Uh, West, uh, of course, uh, the, the, you know, the Flavio, for example, I was him yeah. all the time. And uh, I, you know, I, I find uh, one time, that time I have Jing, you know, yeah. I push him and he was a total, so relaxed and lose sync. I find, wow, it's very, when he's lazy, easy, actually, it's I'm more difficult to push him. Yeah. And he's more better loot. So, and that's the way I start to understanding the emptiness. So, is actually the more empty I get, more gravity I get, more melting power I get, more freedom I get, more intelligence I can get, more feeling and I can more change. And so, if I'm more tough, I actually more isolate myself, more solid myself, more expose myself, and lose gravity. You know, because you carry yourself weight. Too. So this way, I uh, run from toughness uh, and uh, change to emptiness. It, I want to know what you might be working, yeah. if you don't mind to yeah, share, what sure. you might be working on now. And if, just as an example, in the last 24, 48 hours, yeah. what have you thought about in your, when you're in your practice, whether you're doing it or not? Yeah, in my practice, I, my stage is simple and refined. I work on simple, simple meaning us is a mother, myself, internal center and internal power is, is myself and spiritual environment and space like tiger hunting the deer, you know, so internal, the force connect to the space is the father or heaven. So actually I work on us, me and heaven, three sections. Mm. And each section, I want to refine them. Us, just pure us. Okay, I don't want to, you know, when I practice, I want to make sure this us is pure. He can mix, uh, us is us. Don't, you know, he can mix with human. Okay, human can stand on us and with us together. But us is us. Okay, I want to first understanding us is us. He has eight quality. And human, uh, this internal power. Uh, you have internal, external together. You can have pure internal. You have internal before external. Internal larger than external. So internal have a lot of quality. So internal is internal. So when I internal leading to the form, sometimes I forget the feet. Okay, I focus on the internal. And that time, 100% work on internal. Then the internal is like a hunting dog. Like inside my body, I feel two body. And inside the body, like a hunting dog or a cat. Or tiger, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a hunting and look. He has eyes, he has brain. He can watch outside, uh, he can catch, connect with outside subject. Uh, so this time I work on the refinement because you only, when you only work on only internal, 
then your internal will be refined and intelligence. If you're only earth power, then you will be pure earth power and intelligence and superior power too. So I, I work on the simplify, which is I think the most important is earth and self and heaven. And there's the three things. And the spiritual, which is and the 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 quality I want to pure. And that's what I'm working on. You wanna ask anything? It's like any art sing, singing too. For me, I think if you sing your your Beijing opera, uh, you have many character because this is older man singing. This is mm-hmm. young pretty lady singing. You know, this this is like mm-hmm. a martial art. You know, um, general singing. So they have many different you know mm-hmm. singing. But some song voice is going down melt. It's like earth power. Right. Some sound is very high, reach to heaven, you know. Some mm-hmm. sound is a middle, you know. Kind of, they have different, different levels, level, different uh, way qualities, a, a quality express. That that's why they have a different character to show, you know, the thing. But uh, also for me, when the, I see the song like this, I, I thinking he's a earth song, you know. Mm-hmm. And some song like a very high, and he, you know, I thinking, oh, this is a heaven song. And some song is in the middle, you know, trunk and, uh, you know, inside the body. And so this is a human. So kind of in many, many different ways. They, they have many characters, but it, they can refine. Uh, they can refine. But for me, very important, it doesn't matter what they do. The first, they, when they sing this, cannot sing it. They, can, they only can feel. And they, when they sing the music, they should just feel the music and... and uh, thinking the song, but don't do it. When they do it, it becomes physical. Uh, mm-hmm. So their muscle has to be in melting and relaxed situation to sing your song. If a muscle is too much effort, and that's, you do it, that, that's no good. And second one is result. You must be looking for the result. If the result is good, then you have value. If the result is no good, then no value. When you said about being um, pure, what you're working on, simple, refined, all that, yeah. and you said when you practice, yeah. do you mean, do you still have a physical practice? Uh, physical is subconscious, indirect. But I mean, do you, go, do you go and do a form or do you move your body? Yeah, you I, I, do, I, I do form. I, yeah. I do even walking, you know, I, I can walk on the feet. I can feel the feet walking only. I don't feel, the key is my art is focused on the two very important principle, which I have many principles, and two principles. One is called Einstein, like a relatively. Yeah. Like everything is relatively, okay? So when you watch TV and, and it, it is sports you so much like, and your wife call you, you don't hear nothing, okay? Your wife will even yell to you, and you don't hear nothing. Because why? <laughs> because your mind is 100% on TV, okay? Mm-hmm. But... After advertising comes, the same TV, <laughs> and your wife just say very little things, and you hear, uh, you, you feel. So mm-hmm. that meaning your feeling can change. <clears throat> your feeling can change. Came from 100% in something to 100% to another thing. So mm-hmm. when people touch me <clears throat> or fight, I 100% feel the feet feels, feel you. But I hand don't feel you zero. Okay, so so relatively you can do this, so th- that's very important for the art. It, is you have to be switched to hundred percent in something and, and forget rest, and so this is very important. Like a tiger in the hunting, he hundred percent on deer and zero percent on himself. Even the wood and near on his feet, he don't feel too any pain or anything, mm. because he hundred percent on the deer. Okay, so the relatively. This is very important. And another one is called replacement. So you can replace. Uh, so I use f- earth power, down replace up. Uh, the scientific replace physical, and mental replace f- f- strength. So kind of like a replacement is very important. So later you touch me, is touch my mind, not touch my physical. And this arm is a mind arm, not physical arm. My structure is mind structure. So you're against my structure, you cannot. Because my structure is in mental way. It's like you're against my mind, which you know, the mind, it's impossible okay. to, to against. Yeah. 
I, I have one one last question. Yeah. Um, there's there's not. Um, do you feel like you there's if there's a do you think about your legacy and what you want to leave behind to other people? Uh, book. That's it. it. Just. <laughs> but the last uh, time I talked to you about the book, <clears throat> you said you weren't going to ever put out that book. You were like, I don't care if no, I, I'm because it's going to give it to my son <laughs> or something. No, I, I. This book will be. You will do it. Will do it, but uh, it, it's take time because I still continuously yeah. uh, write yeah. and uh, like uh, you know every day I write. Because What's the I, title I, right now? Can you say? <laughs> uh, title is uh, is uh, called. Uh, scientific intelligence the you know the the martial art to defeat the physical you know strong like a physical strength uh, and uh, more effort uh, less effort you know so are you writing sci- in chinese or in english <coughs> in chinese what's the well, how do you say that in chinese chinese uh, just uh, is a and uh, just uh, 以落胜强的武功, and 战胜的体力的强壮的武功, so it's, uh, it's different. Wow. Yeah. So this is, uh, uh, my idea is uh, like a right model, you have a right fighting model, like a body model, okay? Mm-hmm. And with scientific intelligence, <coughs> less physical effort, uh, the force to collect force <coughs> to defeat the more physical strengths and mm. less scientific and less collect mm. and simple force. Kind of like. Thank you so much for Thanks, uh, sharing this. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. What a special treat to have Master George Sishu on. Always a pleasure to hear his profound words. If you're looking for more information about us, find us on the interwebs at effigybreath.com. That's E-F-F-I-J-I breath.com. Find us on Twitter. I'm getting super good at it. Check it out at at effigybreath. Find us on Instagram at at effigybreath. And if you're looking to join us in person, we've got a weekend workshop coming up in Hilton Head Island next weekend, February 27th, 28th, and March 1st. Find it all at effigybreath.com. 